On Money Matters this morning, doctors say no to smart baby monitors, and the energy industry just got a big boost. And Jane King's joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, good morning, Jane. So President Donald Trump may have just opened the door to $17 billion, that's with a B, dollars <laughs> worth of energy projects? Yes, Bruce and Jen, amazing what a few executive orders will do. So with those, yesterday he resurrected a number of oil and gas projects. Those include the controversial Keystone and Dakota Pipeline projects. He signed a separate executive order making sure those projects were done using using U.S. steel. Now, he also signed orders cutting through red tape for the high-priority infrastructure projects. Not quite sure if that caused the stock market to react, but I can tell you that they're uh, <laughs> flexing their muscles. Uh, sure is. Uh, we saw the S&P 500 in the NASDAQ close at record highs yesterday. And yes, it did contribute to that, especially we saw the oil prices up. That helped the energy companies. So energy companies led the rally yesterday. You know, it kind of sloshed around with the markets over the past month or so, but seems like we're getting a little more life to it. We'll see if this lasts. Uh, we are looking higher so far this morning. Dare I say Dow 20,000? Oh, it's within striking distance by price shouldn't even jinx it. Yeah, yeah, don't, right? <laughs> All right, so what is this about genetically modified apples that never brown? Uh, they're coming to stores. So these are the first genetically modified non-browning apples, and they will go on sale in the United States. Now, this fruit is sold sliced. It is marketed under the brand Arctic Apple. It could hit a cluster of Midwestern grocery stores first, perhaps as early as next week. Uh, it's an early test run. It's controversial, of course. It's been genetically modified to eliminate the browning that occurs when an apple is left out in open air. Let's talk about those baby monitors. New moms and dads get them because they figure it'll allay any fears they have, it'll calm them yeah. down, but it actually may cause more anxiety. Well, that's what a study says. I mean, you, you think that uh, the more information you have, the more connected you are to the baby, the better off. But these smart, connected baby monitors, you usually use them through a smartphone app. They can tell you the baby's heartbeat, uh, the breathing. The study, though, that was published in the American Medical Association Journal says scientists say they're really kind of useless, at least for healthy babies. And they say may actually do some harm by causing parents to panic more than they should. They cost between 150 and 300 bucks. They're pricey. All right, Jane, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you.